<laughs> I have some supplements that can help you regain your energy. What do you think? What kind of supplements? This is a Stardust Vitality drink that was brewed over a hundred years ago. Oh, wait, friend, don't go. How can this humble servant be of service, friend? I look forward to your next visit, friend. I come as a representative of the adherents. I fought off the war axe. It's safe now. A young girl like you? Did you really get rid of the war axe? Tell us your name first, outsider thief. Wait, I'm not a thief. Are you Avalon? I'm a warrior of Anbari's Northwind Legion, representing Minerva's adherents. 
<laughs> Minerva sending an outsider? Ridiculous. It'll take more than that to trick me. Look, I have proof. What is this nonsense? Looks like Minerva's mind has gone as off-kilter as my own. Tell me, where are you from? What magic did you use to gain her trust? She doesn't trust me. I'm just helping her as part of a deal. Yeah, that's more like the Aristoi I know. I hoped Marble would send someone, but he gets more useless by the day. Alright, outsider, what should I call you? Hilda. Alright, Hilda. I'll find a use for you. In honor of Minerva. So, do you need me to explain what's going on here? Out with it! Looks like I'll have to go to the mine myself to investigate the cause. I don't expect you to get rid of the anomaly, but at least figure out what the thieves have done. Oh, and kill them while you're at it. All of them. You wouldn't show them mercy just because they're fellow outsiders, would you? Tell me what they look like first. When they arrived, they were dressed in outlandish green and brown clothes with their symbol on it. Scouts from the mine reported that their leader's an old man with gray hair and white eyebrows. Yeah. Pretty sure I know who they are.
And there are rumors that he tried to divide the Aether system. But I believe everyone who has worked in the mine knows that's not the truth. Equity is the only thing my family cares about. Everyone has the right to pursue happiness. As long as you work hard, everyone has the opportunity to be promoted and even become eligible for citizenship. Other than my father and Senator Serene, I have seen no Aristoid fit to be role models. I will stay true to what my father stood for, as I fight for better treatment for all of you, and pass on his ideals to future generations. I, Eumenides, son of Epix, swear it by the gold olive! losses in the mine, and that once they were inside, the amulets failed, leaving many to be affected by that damn voice. We are still making progress, my lord. I assure you, we now know so much more about the voice's power and the monsters it controls. That's all? You should have brought back something more valuable. I didn't risk our elite troops for such trivial information. My lord, the amulets don't work the way you think they do. But how do they work? Specifically, why is it that the amulets retrieved by our dead have a magical resonance that's different from before they were issued? You're the one responsible for keeping the amulets working, yet every time you check them there are problems. The problems cause me great concern. For example, not only could they fail to protect against magic, 
But they might even be storing it. I... I'll take that as your confession. Was it worth it? Trying to control my soldiers with the amulets? My lord, you... There is honor in sacrifice for a cause. But this? You treated these good men as your guinea pigs. I will inform Petrius that you will personally make up for the stardust we require. It is truly the least that you can do. My lord, please! Repent for your transgressions. Take him! Coming. Don't worry. <laughs> you causing trouble in the mine. Whoa! It's been, what, two years? I didn't even recognize you. Oh, and hey, call me slightly. I get nervous when people use my real name. I'm okay with you being nervous. What the hell just happened? Is this gonna affect the bounty on my head? Quit being a smartass, Shay. Just answer me. All right. I threw the smoke grenades to stop those guys from trying to kill me. Not at you, all right? Who wants to kill you? Listen, I know you really want to arrest me. I get it, really. But first, I gotta tell you what's going on in the mine. Just listen, please. You're in no position to be bargaining with me. But I'm so good at it. Look, a warrior of the North Wind Legion wouldn't be around these parts for no reason. The more information, the better, right? <sighs> Why are the goblins back in Aphis? Tired of the North Wind Legion cleaning up after your antics? Please, stop calling what we do antics. It hurts my feelings. The king forces us to give tribute, which is what got him cursed in the first place, but we're more than willing to take up the responsibility. Responsibility for what? To return to Aphis and help the king lift the curse. Oh, I didn't know that the notorious goblins were so kind-hearted. Hey, there's a lot that you don't know. My boss, Old Whitebrow, believes that the way to remove the curse is in the mine. We've made a lot of new discoveries here. All right, let's just say that I believe your lies for just a second. You're still a criminal in the eyes of the law. I can't ignore that. Ah, of course. I'm well aware of that. But that's the law of the Ambari, which doesn't apply here. What's more, now's probably not the best time to arrest me. Where are the others? And where's your boss, this old white brow? Don't look at me like that. They aren't off pillaging valuables. For now, at least. Things have gotten a bit awkward, you see. Uh, they're the ones trying to kill me. What do you mean? We ventured even deeper into the mine than last time. Old Whitebrow was pretty excited. But after a couple of days, there was a terrifying roar from within the pit. The whole ground shook. Then we heard a strange voice, and... 
Well, they, they haven't been themselves since. They either went completely blank and expressionless, or they just started attacking each other. It was terrifying, seeing one's comrades turn to strangers before your very eyes in that dark, narrow cavern. So you ran away. So I ran away. And then I mistook you for one of the ones chasing me. <sighs> You're all idiots. You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. All right, spare me the yapping. You think you know this place better than we do? I know better than to barge in like you did. Also, don't act tough when you're at the tip of someone's blade. It's not a good look. So what now? Could you maybe, um, come rescue old Whitebrow with me? I don't care about the others, but I can't leave old Whitebrow behind. I have to save him. And I don't trust the other goblins waiting outside the village for, uh, various reasons. So, I don't want to send a distress call. Ugh, you goblins are always trouble. Don't say that. Please, help me. I'm risking my life here begging you. You want us to work together? Are you serious? Oh no, not work together. I'm requesting, nay, beseeching a great, powerful, and wise warrior of the Northwind Legion to help me with a small task. Or, do you plan to capture me and take me back? Or maybe tie me up here and face those insane goblins by yourself? Shut up. No matter what I do, you'll still find a way to go back and save old Whitebrow. Right? Hey, great minds think alike, am I right? Give me your weapon. I'd rather go into the mine with you than let you go running off by yourself. But if you try anything funny, I'll end you right there on the spot. Sounds like a bad deal for me. Whatever, it's better than fighting by myself in the mine. I'll follow you closely, and I promise to behave myself. Let's go then. I'm so excited. Slightly and the Legion Warrior united again. Shut it! It's busted. We have to find another way around. No, I have an idea. I'll go ahead. Just wait here. Hey, don't go. You.
take off like that again, and you won't get away with it, Jay. I told you to stop calling me... whatever. You thought I was gonna run off? Don't worry. I still need you to find old Whitebrow. I know you don't trust me, so I'll say it again. I promise to behave myself. Yeah, well, let's keep going. Wait, look at these markings on the wall. I didn't see these when I left the pit. What do they mean? Old Whitebrow marked safe passages while mapping out the mine. These marks are brand new, though. But something isn't right. We used it all the time, and it was always safe. If you always pass through here, there'd be no need to mark it recently. Right. There's only two possibilities. Either the paths in the mine are changing, or he's gone bonkers. I hope that it's the former. If the pit's alive, then the anomalies would kind of make sense. There is a third possibility. That you're lying to me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. If I'm lying, I'll tell you, all right? <sighs> what do you want to ask? Let's keep going. You should scout ahead first. We set up camp in an abandoned smelter. Watch for traps when you check it out. I'll try to decode what these messages mean and check over my hook gun. Hey, you don't get to boss me around. What else can I do? You've got my weapon. Or are you gonna give it back to me? I'd appreciate that. <sighs> oh, also, some star eye ore is explosive. You can take advantage of that against enemies. How did you know that? Because I tried it out. An unexpected discovery while I was escaping. That's dangerous. One explosion could make the whole mine collapse. Worried about me? I'm touched. You really are just the worst.
This house really treats their servants well. No wonder the people of the pit village respect him so much. Serious infighting going on within the goblins. I wonder what Shay will have to say about this. Entertainment. 
These are things you must carry out. They're very important to the miners. Understand? Of course I understand. That's just the way things should be. Yet, it is the responsibility of Aristoid like us. I believe you'll understand someday. You are the best son after all. And you're the best father.
heard them sometimes. Does it just depend on their mood? Save it for later. Listen, I was following old Whitebrow, but I lost him. He was acting... odd. 
And I mean, he, he was already a bit of a weirdo, but he's even weirder now. You get me? He ignored what I was saying and said he was no longer old Whitebrow. It was just off. <sighs> what? He's being controlled somehow. I'm sure of it. Everyone here is being controlled by some strange power. Hey, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You don't know how it feels to lose him. He's like the closest thing to family for me. Damn it, why am I even telling you this? I have to find him. Even if his mind has been taken over by some messed up thing. I get it. Shay, we'll find him. <laughs> what? what are you laughing at? You have feelings after all. Huh. It's none of your business. So you're sure something's controlling him? I was standing pretty close to him. I yelled, but he just kept muttering to himself. He said something like, I submit to the ancient god, son of the cosmos. He was always a bit squirrely, but for like antiques and mythology. He wouldn't spit a bunch of weird stuff like that. When I realized that he was just talking into the air, my hair stood on end. It was like he was looking right past me. I believe you. Why? I don't think I even believe what I'm saying anymore. His stare still gives me the shivers. Who was he talking to? So, you and Old White Brows. You seem close. I guess, yeah. He adopted me when I was just a kid. He liked me best out of all the orphans. He taught me how to search for treasure, but he would also tell me stories about history. He teach you to read, too? Yeah, yeah. Not everyone in the goblins can read, so that gave me an, an advantage. I grew up on the streets, and I've been through a lot. I may not show it, but I can read people pretty well, too. I've seen a lot of very cruel things, so... So... what? So... I owe the old man a lot. But how am I gonna pay him back if he's like this? Hilda, you're a capable and kind warrior. Please, 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 please help me! If Old Whitebrow leaves this mine safe and sound, I'm all yours! Really. Alright. One step at a time. How would you snap Old Whitebrow out of it if you caught him? He wasn't acting like the other goblins. He still has a bit of... himself left. If there's time, I think I could try talking to him. That sounds too simple. I know. Worst case, we'll just knock him out. I can think of a worse case than that. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I don't want to think about that option. Laugh all you want, I just want to find him quickly. Get out! It's the old man! Go any further and you'll succumb to the lord of a mine! Stay there, you old fool! Hey! Damn! I have to catch up with them! Did he mention the lord of the mine again?
shawl embroidered with a red rose. This might have been left behind by an Ephesian Aristoi. There's signs of a fight around here. It looks like a clash with the goblins. armor looks very intricate. Doesn't seem like it belonged to an average soldier. There's a dog tag on it. broken defensive devices Shay was talking about. Our old white brown Callan coming back. It's so boring standing guard here. Keep your voice down. If anything happens down there, they'll blow their whistle to let us know. Not that I'd ever hear it over all your complaining. Hmm. Looks like we don't need to worry about no bad here. Callan's back. How's it going? What's the score? Hmm. What's that look supposed to mean? Spit it out! Hey! Damn it! What are you doing? Callum, are you crazy? Old White Brown told us not to mess with the devices. Must break them. I was told. I can't keep the bastard back. Knock him out. Hurry up! Sorry, but I can't control it. Old White Brown, you wouldn't.
Come on. Cut it out, old man. This isn't funny. Hey, what are you... I've been looking for you. This doesn't look good. Hilda, please help me out here. The Lord of the Mind is watching you.
Damn it, he's passed out. Looks like he was being controlled by that voice. Damn, that was dangerous. Guess that amulet he mentioned really did protect you. Maybe, but I gave him the same amulet. I think it allowed him to resist. Otherwise, he wouldn't have hesitated when he attacked you. We have to find a way to restore his consciousness. Anything. You saw that pink starite device, right? After Old Whitebrow broke it, everyone was affected. According to his journal, if we head deeper into the mine, we'll find the source. We might even find the solution. You have no idea what's down there. It's too dangerous. When have things ever not been too dangerous? So you want to just rush straight in? You want to go in yourself instead and let me leave? How thoughtful. Hey! Kidding. The old man said I have to go in. I don't care if it's a trap. I have to figure out the truth. I might even fight you if you tried to take me away. Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. If you stay, I'll help you to the end. How about that? A peaceful partnership? Not my first choice, but it'll have to do, I guess. How far down did you make it? Where are the pink star devices? Not that far from here. You'll see the first one that the old man broke right up ahead. Got it. I'll check out that area first. I promised to do it for the pit village. You just love rules, huh? All right. I'll stay behind and take care of old Whitebrow. Hope his head's all right. Although if he woke up right now... Well, maybe it's better like this. If you make it back, Slightly will be at your service. Whitebrow's under control for now. It's time to investigate those broken defensive devices. These must be the broken defensive devices Shay was talking about. There's a powerful force coming from deeper within. It must be the source of the anomaly. It's time to go back and explain the problem to Abalone. like to know about the Smith's standard of living. For example, did they have any holidays? Did they receive stardust? Did they have thick enough clothing? Did they sleep on big comfortable beds? Were they protected by the soldiers? Did they have women in their numbers? By the gods, I'm worrying too much. It's all right, sweetheart. Forget I asked. Hey, sweetie, what's up? Thank you. House Rosa and House Laurel have always had good relations. You did well this time. Thank you for your words of praise, Roxanne. Lady. Oh, thank you for your words of praise, Lady Roxanne. I don't know how long it will take for you to learn proper etiquette. You killed the Smiths? What a foolish thing to do! 
Without their expertise, we might not be able to pass down the skills relevant to Starrite. That would be a great loss for Aphis. In addition, the majority of them came from Laurel Craft. There was a chance of them being helpful to the mistress. <sighs> I didn't expect you to attack those innocent people. What do you need? Mind your manners. What was it like in the mine? The magical defense devices on the second and bottom levels were destroyed by the goblins. Only the ones at the entrance are left. Damn it! When those miners didn't return, I thought something like that must have happened. I want to smash those bastards' hands with an orichalcum pickaxe. We lost so many good people getting those devices in place. I don't know if they can still be repaired. But we could try to find a way to get in deeper and find out the truth. <laughs> Easier said than done. Just trying to keep the village from collapsing is taxing enough. How about this? If you help me take care of this problem, we won't just reopen trade. The pit village will unconditionally work with Minerva. How does that sound? Really? You have my word. But you gotta show me the results first. I'll tell Minerva. Damn the gods. Whatever, just take care of it. Curiosity drives us forward, leading us to explore the known and challenge the unknown. Yet it also makes us forget our limits and attempt to control that which should never be touched. The righteous path is always fraught with danger. The curse of Aethys has proven this, and none of us should repeat the same mistake. Maybe I should check in with Minerva first.
back to Minerva first. I found and destroyed a magical device in the depths of the mine. It looks like we've prevented the magical anomaly from spreading further for now. Yes, you did well. At least we know now what happened in the mine. I didn't expect that voice to still be affecting people's minds. A thousand years ago, it took so much sacrifice to suppress it. Is there really no way to solve the problem once and for all? We believe that the anomalies in the mine could be linked to Asteragos. We've been trying to study and solve the mystery for the past thousand years. But we haven't managed to succeed, and the dangers involved have cost us a great deal. If we are able to solve this predicament for the Pit Village, we'll definitely have their support. Mistress, I don't think we'll be able to solve the magical anomalies in the mine anytime soon. We're running out of time, and there are more important and pressing missions. We can still give a reply to Avalon. There's no harm in having more allies. They are very stubborn, and they are openly disdainful of the Aristoi. I don't think they really trust you, mistress. Unless... Unless we think of a better explanation and firmly win Avalon's trust. I don't think the miners want to take advantage of you. They have experience with an Aristoi who treats his workers well. So they hope someone else will show them the same kindness. You should try to understand what they're feeling and calm their fears of the current situation. If you can do that, I believe they'll be very grateful. <laughs> the Aristoi you're talking about, child. We'll discuss it and come to a conclusion on our own. We don't need your input, Hilda. It's just a suggestion. Feel free to ignore it. Enough. Here, the Echo Stone we agreed on. We'll talk later about a response. Don't get distracted from the task at hand. Things have really progressed. Hilda, come and see me when you have a moment. I have something to tell you. First of all, Hilda, I'd like to thank you for all your hard work. You're... thanking me? Yes. Believe it or not, I can be appreciative. Anyway, I was looking for you so I could give you something. Please, hand me your necklace. Don't worry, I'm just going to apply a magic sigil. Okay? There, got it. This sigil? What does it do? Remember your first task? You retrieve the Shifting Stone. It's an essential item for constructing the Conduit Teleportation System, and now we can finally use it. Teleport? Your necklace is equipped with a memory feature. You should have felt it since you arrived here in Aethys. You can use the necklace to sense the Conduit in the newly completed array, and then teleport to any Conduit location stored in the necklace's memory. So teleportation really is a thing. I can hardly believe it. And the sigil I just added... It stored a place you haven't yet been to in the necklace's memory. So, now we can go to Laurelcraft together. Us? Laurelcraft? Yes, there's a new objective there. I'll explain more when we arrive. Now you can use the power of teleportation in the shelter's conduit. Just like Minerva said. Whoa. This is feeling weird. All right. Wow. So that's what teleportation feels like. Are you all right? How do you feel? Yeah, smooth. No explosions. <laughs> ah. Why so surprised? 
Was I supposed to explode? <laughs> no. That's good. So, where are we now? The conduit outside Laurel Craft. You may have passed by here before. But you seem to have a lot of questions. Let's deal with them first. What kind of place is this? It's where we process and develop Starite. After the stones have been cut, they're sent here and made into goods. Laurel Craft makes everything, from the Starite you use, to the conduit cores that can be seen all over the city. Is this the only Laurel Craft workshop? No, there are many workshops to meet the needs of the city, but this is the biggest one. Who manages such an important place? Humanities and I are in charge. I think you probably already know that we're married. Oh, well, I don't. It's fine. I can tell you're curious about our relationship. Yes? I married Humanities soon after I came of age. He owned the mine, and my family processed Starite. Our marriage contributed to the development of the Starite industry and Laurel Craft drove the city's economy. Sounds like he did a great job. Mm, how did it end up like this? We can talk about that later. It's a long story. What are we doing here? The workshop was abandoned after the smiths and most of the Starite were taken by Marvel, leaving many blueprints and instruments abandoned. I really need a polarized light reader for analysis. If I can find one, I can verify my hypothesis about Humanity's plan, which will help us move forward. I see. Well, let's get to it. Hold out your hands. What does this key open? The Laurel Craft Vault. There's a secret vault in the cellar that can only be opened with this key. You'll find a polarized light reader on the table inside. Bring it back to me. Isn't this key too... precious to give to me? I think it's the right choice. I trust you. It's an unusual shape. It's made of pure starite, so it's very difficult to duplicate. Most Aristoi use this kind of lock to protect their important belongings. The key is a symbol of the workshop owner. It's no mere luck that you now have it in your possession. What do you mean? I'm speaking literally. Let's get back to the matter at hand. The workshop was closed down by the soldiers, and the door is now locked. You can get in from the second floor of the building next to it. Come back once you have the polarized light reader. I'll wait out here for you. Alright then. Wish me luck. Got it. That's the way to the bazaar. Let's concentrate on the workshop mission first. Got it. be a Colossus here! Great! Minerva didn't tell me that! I'll get to her later! 